When Adobe released After Effects for the Creative Cloud, it included a 3D creation and animation product with it. That 3D animation and creation product is called Cinema 4D Lite. Cinema 4D, from a company called Maxon, is an industry standard 3D creation and animation tool. That it comes with After Effects is a big deal for folks who already work with Cinema 4D. If you don't work with Cinema 4D, it may be less of a big deal because there's one heck of a learning curve to figure out how to use it, but it's a pretty darn cool thing that you have a 3D creation tool that comes with After Effects for free. So in this lesson, I want to explain what Cinema 4D is all about and how it's integrated with After Effects. There are four main products in the Cinema 4D product line. Cinema 4D Studio, Broadcast, Visualize, and Prime. Cinema 4D Lite, the one that comes with After Effects, is very closely aligned with Prime. There are just a few things in Prime that are not in Cinema 4D Lite. Cinema 4D Visualize is for architects, so it's not really something that would work for us. But the two that are of interest to digital media producers are Broadcast and Studio. Now Cinema 4D Prime lists for $1,000. So you're getting something very close to Cinema 4D Prime for free inside After Effects. Cinema 4D Broadcast lists for $1,700, and Cinema 4D Studio lists for $3,700. These are not inexpensive products. At the time I recorded this lesson, Maxon had not worked out an upgrade pricing scheme, but they were discussing a 30 to 40% discount for folks who want to upgrade from Cinema 4D Lite to Broadcast or Studio. This is a product comparison list that I've included inside the Working Files Other Assets folder. If you just scroll through, you'll see that there are some gaps here in Lite compared to Prime. But the one kind of cool thing is that way down here on page 8 or so, there are two things included with Lite that are not included with Prime. And these two things are really fun. This is called Fracture Object, which allows you to split things up into constituent parts and then connect them back together. And this is Effectors, which allow you to animate those constituent parts. So these are sort of fun things that are added to Cinema 4D Lite. They're not the full featured versions of these guys. They're sort of subsets of the Fracture Objects that are included with Broadcast and Studio and subsets of the Effectors that are included with those two products. But they do give you kind of a taste of what these guys are like. But what makes this a big deal for current Cinema 4D users is that you can bring a Cinema 4D file directly into After Effects. And if you want to make a change to it, you can open up in Cinema 4D, make that change, and it'll show up immediately in After Effects. It'll render on the fly. And that is a monstrous time saver. Folks who work with Cinema 4D know that if you want to bring a project into After Effects, you don't just render the project as a single file. You render it as many files, sometimes dozens of files. And then you create an After Effects composition, and those guys are all layered inside that composition. And if you want to change one of those layers, you've got to go back to Cinema 4D, make the change, and re-render. It's a huge, huge time sink. But now you can take a Cinema 4D file and work on it directly inside After Effects. And if you want to fix it, you can fix it and see those changes show up immediately. So let me give you a sense of how that works. I'm going to import a Cinema 4D file. I'll just double click here. I don't want to get it right out of our assets here because if I change it, then it'll change it here in the original file. So I want to go get a duplicate version of that. So I'm going to go to my desktop here. Go to my exercise files here where I put a duplicate of that file. Double click on this. And there is that file right there. I can create a comp out of it just by dragging it down to the new comp icon there. Now I've created this comp with this file in it. Let me move forward a bit here just to show you what's going on. Because right now it's just this red and white thing. We have this balloon and some text and this stuff here in the background. I've been working with Maxon as I've produced these lessons. And this file was created by the Maxon Vice President of Operations, a guy named Rick Barrett. So thank you, Rick, for making this. And you'll see when I added that to the comp, the Effect Controls panel shows something called the Cineware effect. Cineware is an interface between this file and the CineRender engine. CineRender is the rendering engine that allows this file to be displayed inside After Effects. It is an amazingly powerful feature. What the Cineware effect does is that it allows you to control aspects of the CineRender engine so you can see the displays here differently, or you can split things up, or you can use different cameras. All kinds of features here that are involved with this. But the really cool thing is that you've got the Cinema 4D file coming in here, it comes in as a 2D file, surprisingly. It's not a 3D file. Basically, it's a video, if you want to think of it that way. But this guy is rendering the video on the fly. you notice you can't even make it 3D. There's no option to make it 3D here. It's going to be a 2D file whether you like it or not. But don't let that bother you, because you can edit this guy on the fly. So I'm going to go back to the project panel here. There is that file right there, Balloon Festival copy. I'm going to go to Edit, Edit Original. And that'll open up the Cinema 4D Lite product that comes with After Effects with that file loaded up. And now if I make a change, it'll show up inside After Effects. So I'll do something very simple here. I'll just take this guy and move it over a little bit like that. Pull it down a bit here. I'll add a light. 
it's kind of bright. I'll change the view here by holding the Alt or the Option key and changing my perspective. There is that light right there. Pull it toward your loise. Maybe change the color of the light a little bit. Light. Maybe make it just kind of bluish. And we'll just take the intensity down a bit, perhaps. And now I'll save this. I'll go File, Save. And I'll go back to After Effects. And that'll show up immediately, which is going to make anyone who works in Cinema 4D just fall out of their chairs, because this would have taken hours to do otherwise. So that is a very cool feature. Another cool thing is that you can make a Cinema 4D file from scratch. So for example, I'll go up to File, New, Maxon Cinema 4D file, click on that. It'll ask me to name it. I've already got one named here. I'll just click on that and say, let's name it that. Already there, which is fine. It opens up this blank slate to which we can start adding some 3D objects. So a very simple thing, for example, is just to add a cube. There's a cube, I'll just place it there. I'll save this, file save. Go back to After Effects, click on this guy, and there it is. I can go to my vineyard comp, for example, take this file and drop it on top of there. And there is that cube we just made. Those little lines there are the original ground plane from Cinema 4D. I can turn them off by changing the render, like so, the standard draft, and they'll go away. Amazing. I just created a Cinema 4D file, and it shows up instantly here inside After Effects. No need to render it. So that is a huge thing. I'll drop this out of this comp because I want to show you one more thing now. Another very important feature is that you can take something that you've used the 3D camera tracker on, like this guy, the vineyard, and you can create what's called a ground plane. I can select some points down here and create a ground plane out of it. So I'll turn on the camera tracker effect, and there are those little points. I could create a ground plane here. If I just click on this and right-click, there's an option to create a ground plane. I've already done that in this particular case, though. Then I can add, let's say, a solid layer like this as well. Then I can export this whole thing as a Cinema 4D file, which I've already done, so I'll show you that. I'll go over here, and I'll say Edit Original, and that'll show up here inside Cinema 4D. And I've already worked on this, but when I opened it up originally, I saw that little object that was in the original file. We already have a camera in here, and notice the camera follows the scene like that. And the ground plane was set right there, the origin on the ground plane right there. So I added this hot air balloon, which is an object that comes with Cinema 4D Lite, and did a little animation on it, like so, and then save that. So I'll go back to After Effects, and it showed up here. All I need to do now is add this to the scene, like so. Turn off this little orange guy there, that's part of the original scene. And now I've got this hot air balloon kind of floating along above the scene, and it'll follow the motion of the camera, as well as have its own motion built in, plus it spins and things like that. So those are some of the main things that you can do now that Cinema 4D Lite and the Cineware effect have been bundled with After Effects.